Hey everyone, Louis here. How are you guys doing? So if you're a modeler, texture artist using Blender or any other 3D software, it's fair to assume you may have a fair amount of FBXs, OBJs, alphas and material files laying around your folders. So I decided to create this series as a personal initiative to share a few of the organization tools I learned working both on game studios and as a professional freelancer. For many years, I usually organize all my content using a proper file naming and folder hierarchy. However, I realized they were not holding for the long term as I expected. For example, let's say you have two project folders, but there is a FBX template file that is being used by both locations. Or you don't know how to name it because it has more than one common attribute shared by both projects. So that's where the coin dropped. I needed a proper tagging system. I tried several different tools and I must say all of them were too much minimalistic and lacking features. Or the developers simply stopped providing support. Then I found XY, a user-based file manager for Windows. At first, I wasn't totally convinced replacing the default Windows file browser was the way to go. But just as I started using it, I confess I was actually very impressed. The user interface is reliable and fast, and most importantly, very lightweight, consuming not more than 8.5 megabytes of RAM with multiple instances open and heavy multitasking. It specifically shines when it comes to its user-friendly features, allowing to preview original image sizes by just clicking and holding, as well as quickly inspecting the information inside text and PDF documents. Not only that, but it also includes a proprietary internal indexing of labels and tags, which in a brief explanation makes your searching results instantaneous. XY also provides a heavy bunch of customization options, not only on the visual side, but also on its layout and graphical size. You can colorize folders based on their hierarchy and also create your own classifications and properties by using extra columns. You can also use scripts to automate tasks, for example, auto-tagging an FBX file to high poly or low poly based on their file size when exported by a 3D modeling software of your choice. Now, unfortunately, this isn't a free software, with the standard license going for $39, which I assume is one of the few reasons for it not being widespread adopted yet. Therefore, if you know your niche and are looking for heavier features that are way above Microsoft's plan roadmap, I would at least consider downloading its free trial for further decide if it suits your workflow. That's it for today, everyone. If you find this helpful, leave a like and consider subscribing for future contents. Until next time.